Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthy Hong Kong. As you may know, our goal is anti-aging and to extend our health span, where health span is a period of life free of major illnesses. We find there are frequent information updates, news items, scientific studies, seminars and events that help us in working towards our goal. Instead of just putting these updates in our own logs and adding to our, our health regimen, we would love to share them with our audience. We decided to create a newsletter to cover the latest research, interesting topics and any events, especially free ones, that we found in the longevity field. So this is our first modern health span newsletter. We will cover three research papers. The first about NMN improving heart health. The second on high intensity training for elder people. And the third enabling adult skin cells to heal like a newborn. We will also look at the updated longevity experts world ranking and extending health span virtual conference. And finally, a look at facial recognition test site that estimates your age. First, let me get into the recent science research papers, which we have found interesting. The first study is from a team at Washington State University, looking at whether SS31 and NMN could improve the metabolism and function in aged hearts in mice. A little on SS31. It is a four chain peptide that in earlier studies has shown to reverse cognitive and muscle decline in mouse models. It's also known as Bendavia. The molecule has not been approved by the FDA yet, so I am not sure where SS31 can be obtained at the moment. In the trial, they had four groups, just NMN, just SS31, a combination of both, and a control. Although the combination had the best outcome because the drugs were effective at restoring different aspects of mitochondrial and heart health, NMN alone was also effective at reversing systolic functions in the heart. One other thing I found interesting, given the ongoing discussion about the bioavailability of NMN and the best method of administration, is that the drug was administered to the mice in their drinking water and shown to be effective, implying that whatever the mechanism, oral NMN does make it into the cells. Our second study was one that looked at exercise and in particular whether HIT was more effective for older adults than MICT, Moderate Intensity Continuous Training. The HIT group was told to do two sessions at 90% of maximum heart rate per week, while the MICT group was told to do two sessions at 70% of maximum heart rate per week. The control group was asked to follow the government exercise guidelines of 30 minutes of moderate exercise almost every day. The exercise used for the HIT group was 4x4 running, which is one of the exercise protocols that we do and has been shown to be effective in increasing VO2 max and does seem to have worked for us. The protocol consists of a warm-up period, then four minutes of exercise, followed by either three or four minutes of rest, repeated four times, and then a cool down. The study did show better outcomes for HIT in the contrast to the MICT group, but less so when compared to the control, and the result was not statistically significant. The authors point to a number of possible causes for this, not least of which is that the control group, which was not being supervised, seemed to be doing some HIT exercise as well. If we look at the graph of cumulative deaths, we see that the HIT group did best, followed by the control group and then the MICT group. So although the trial was inconclusive, we will be continuing with our 4x4s and sprint intervals. The study for this newsletter looked at how to cause adult skin to heal in the same way as that of a newborn, again in mice. When we are very young, our skin has the ability to heal without a scar and to also regrow hair follicles and skin that can form goosebumps. This ability is lost early in development and the result is that damage to our skin will result in scars. The study found that by expressing a particular transcription factor, LEF1, they could cause a papillary fibroblast to prime the adult skin to form a temporary regenerative cell type without perturbing development or homeostasis. So essentially to cause the skin to heal as if it were in a very young organism while not having any negative side effects. In their summary statement, the authors say that they see the possibility of using these neonatal skin regeneration capabilities in clinical solutions. Leaving scientific studies, let's have a look at some of the other activities in the health span world. September 2020 is Healthy Aging Month. Dr. David Sinclair tweeted he was recognized as an expert scape, world expert for longevity. This is a listing of the top worldwide experts for longevity,
based on 12,468 eligible articles published since 2010. We are happy to find a few of the experts we interviewed in our channel, Dr. Nir Barzilai, Dr. Brian Kennedy and Dr. Luigi Fontana in the rankings. We also can see Dr. Volta Longo in the rankings as well. Moving on to events. From October the 12th to the 16th, there is a virtual four-day conference targeting extending health span called Metabesity 2020. It has speakers from multiple disciplines, including science and medicine, behavioral science, digital health and age technology, and many others. We are excited to see Dr. Nir Barzilai, Dr. Brian Kennedy, and Dr. Vittorio Sebastiano are speaking at the conference. It is free to register for the whole four-day conference. Please find the link in the description. Due to the time difference, the earliest event is 10 p.m. for us, so it's a pity, but we will not be joining many of the talks. In our interview with Dr. Brian Kennedy, he mentioned that he was working with researchers in China who were using 3D facial scanning as a non-invasive way to measure biological age, and it would be one of the clocks that he used in his trials. Out of curiosity, we tried HowWell.net from Microsoft to see how effective it would be. So here's a sample picture. It's anonymous and just requires you to upload a picture, which they have said they do not save. So let's see my outcome. This is a combination picture I presented in my nine months report. The first picture is from before I took NMN, and the third is the latest one. As you can see, it seems reasonably accurate for me. However, it did not do so well for my wife. She uploaded some photos, and in the end the range was from 10 to 33 years old. The deviation seems too wide, but it was fun to give it a try. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you found the first modern health span newsletter informative. As we find more interesting research and longevity news, we will release our next newsletter, so please stay tuned. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for new video release notifications. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and I will speak to you again soon.